Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting rational expressions. Rational expressions are going to be our fractions here. We know when we add fractions that have a common denominator. Okay, We are just going to add the numerators, keep one denominator, reduce the fraction if possible. Problem two, common denominator, add or subtract the numerators, Simplify one common denominator. Simplify if possible. Problem three, common denominators, add or subtract the numerators, combine like terms if possible. Okay, when we add these together, we have two 5x squares, but we only write one under here. Problem four, okay, common denominators, Add or subtract the numerators, combine like terms if possible, write it over one common denominator, and you're all done. Now the difficulty is going to be when the denominators are not the same. In order to take care of when the denominators are not the same, first thing we have to do is be able to find the least common multiple between terms. We're going to factor this term out and factor this term out, hit pause, then come back and see what the factors are. Here's how we find the LCM. We take each factor that occurs and the most amount of times it occurs in any one term. So over in this term, I have these two twos, happens two times here, only happens once here, so the most amount of times it occurs is here. I have a single three here, once here, none over there, so I need a three here. I have an x plus two, happens once here. That's one factor inside the parentheses is one factor. X plus 2 happens one time. Here doesn't happen at all over here, so I need it. X minus 2 happens once here, but twice over here. So I need them both over here. I need 2. Happens two times over here. The most amount of times it occurs. Now we're going to clean it up a little bit. 2 times 2 times 3 is going to be 12. X plus 2 x minus 2 squared, no reason to uh, write all this stuff and multiply it all out, okay? Let's try number 6. So let's find the least common multiple here. All right, factor these guys out, then come back and check in with us. Okay, our LCM, I just broke that down one more time just to show it a little further. Now my LCM, each factor and the most amount of times it occurs. So I have twos that occur, twice here, none over here, so I need two. I have a five that occurs once here, but not at all over here, so I need one single five. I have an x plus three that occurs once here, but twice over here, so I need two of them. I have an x minus 3 that occurs once there, but not at all over here, so I need one of those. Clean this up a little bit. 20, x plus 3 squared, x minus 3. Okay, that's how you find the least common multiple, which is our LCD. All right, number 7, subtracting or adding rational expressions. Let's go talk about how we're going to add these together first. First thing we got to find is a common denominator. Common denominator is actually your least common multiple of the two numbers. So we're going to take the factors that are in here, each one that occurs, and the most times they occur, it's a 3 and a 5. So my LCM is going to be 15, but I want to focus at this circle right here. What's in this circle that's not down in this denominator? The 5. So I'm going to multiply the top by 5 and the bottom by 5. What's in this circle that's not over in this denominator? The 3. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 3. Do the multiplication on the top, multiplication on the bottom, multiplication on the top, multiplication on the bottom. Now we have common denominators. Add or subtract the top, and we put it over a single bottom. So we come over here, 
we're going to find the LCM. This is one factor. This is another factor. Each factor that occurs and the most amount of times it occurs. X happens one time here, and X minus 10. So you LCM are these two factors. So we'll put a circle around these two. I'm not going to do this all the time. Same way we did here. What's in this circle that's not over here in the denominator? The X. So I got to include that X on the top. And put the X on the bottom. When I put the X on the bottom, it completes the LCM. Minus what's in this circle that's not over on this side, the X minus 10. So I got to get that X minus 10 on the top and the X minus 10 on the bottom. When I put the X minus 10 on the bottom, it's just completing the LCM. Okay, so it's sort of like where we're at right here. Now we're going to multiply this top. minus, multiply this top, okay, now this is subtraction, subtraction gets a little tricky because we should do this, then what we're going to do is we're just going to put these two together, so we're going to go 3x squared plus 7x minus 7x minus 70 over a single LCM, and then you're going to multiply and simplify the top. So we combine like terms on the top, you multiply everything out on the top, add or subtract the bottom, you just leave as is. Okay, you don't have to multiply that out. So we get 3x squared plus 70 over x times x minus 10. Be careful with the minus sign. All right. Let's try number 8. First thing I want you to do is factor and try to get the LCM. This is one term. The LCM is going to be, okay, each factor that occurs, x plus 8 occurs once there, once there, so each factor that occurs and the most amount of times only happens one time in each problem. x plus 6 happens once here, it doesn't happen at all there, so we need a single x plus 6. Okay? Now, what's in this circle that's not down here? Obviously the x plus 6, so I have to multiply the top by x plus 6. I multiply the top by x plus 6, I have to also multiply the bottom by x plus 6, and that's just going to add in and complete my LCM. So in the interest of time, I'm just writing that. This LCM is already there. Everything is there. Okay, next step, multiply all this. And you put it over the single LCM and you write it out as the last step. You would also factor this out and see if anything cancels. It doesn't in this case. Okay, problem nine. See what you can do with this problem. Start with the factoring, the LCM, and getting common denominators. So for the last step, you want to put it in descending order 
over your LCM, and we're going to put that all together here. So that's going to be 9x squared x plus 1. Okay, so up here we're just finding what terms we're missing in this denominator and add it to the denominator, add it to the numerator. Same over here. What am I missing here? I got two threes and two x's. I got one three, one x, so I got to add another three x. Okay, let's try number 10. Same thing. Start with your factoring and get your common denominators. All right, so for the last step, we're going to put it in order, and we're going to write it over the single LCM, 10x squared times x minus 2. You see, I saved myself a little step there, okay, kind of condensed it a little, and that's our final answer. All right, problem 11, you're on your own. Find the LCM. Be careful with the minus sign, and at the end we're going to take it an extra step further and factor. All right, so we did all these steps the same way we did before. We got to the bottom, wrote the LCM down, and the top we could factor, and we're just going to see if we can cancel anything out. I can cancel these factors out of the top and the bottom, so my final answer is going to be x plus 4 on the top, 2 times x minus 3 on the bottom. Need parentheses on the bottom. Do not need them on the top. If you want to put them on the top, that's great. Okay? All right, let's try problem number 12, which is similar to 11. Watch out for those little tricky steps. See if you can get to the final answer. Let's see if we can cancel out any common factors. So our final answer is x minus 6 over 3 times x minus 5. I hope you found this video informative and enjoyable, and we'll see you on the next video.